Hello everyone, today we will learn how to send emails when you receive new form submission in HubSpot CRM. So there is a feature in HubSpot that you can create form and also receive form submissions from your customers. So whenever you receive a form submission, you want to send your customers a confirmation email. So rather than sending email one by one manually, you can create an automation for this process with the help of Pabli Connect. Today we will learn to create this integration where our trigger will be to a form submission in HubSpot and our action will be to send a confirmation email via Gmail. Let us learn how to do that. So let us create an integration where every time a new form has been submitted in your HubSpot form, like I have created a form which is over here, it's a complaint registration form, alright. And then over here whenever a person will fill this form and submit, then he or she will receive an email of confirmation. The form I have created using HubSpot only and now we will learn how to integrate email and HubSpot. So let us quickly sign in in our Pabli account. And I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Click on access now under Pabli Connect and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you will find this big blue button where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as Send email via Gmail for new form submissions in HubSpot. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two boxes. One has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now what is this trigger and action? Whenever you will choose an application over here which will be called your trigger application an event will take place in this application which will be a trigger and then that trigger will make the workflow flow towards the action application where it will perform the assigned action. For this workflow or this automation our trigger application is HubSpot because the form submission will be done in HubSpot only and then through our action application that is Gmail we will be sending confirmation emails. The event is going to be you can search it over here rather than surfing all along new form submission is our event. Now it will provide you a webhook URL for the same purpose and the instructions are also given to you that how are you going to use this URL in your HubSpot account. So let us follow these. You have to go to automation then workflows and then from scratch create a workflow drop down. So this is the automation as you can see in my HubSpot account. I'll go to workflows and then I will have to click on create a workflow which is right over here in your top right corner and click from scratch. After this you have to click on next for a blank workflow which means that you have to create a blank workflow. Click on next. When you reach here, you have to set up trigger and action for this specific workflow or webhook URL. So now set up trigger and you have to click on contact enrollment trigger. Okay, from here you have to select form submission and any form submission. So keep scrolling down and click on form submission. It will ask you that what are the further conditions required for this trigger. So it is any form submission like whenever any form is submitted the trigger has to work. Okay, so apply filter and then save this part. So you have set the trigger here. Now comes the action. So you have to click on the plus icon under the trigger and then click on workflow and send webhook. So click on this plus button. It will automatically come as action and you have to go to workflow column where you have to select send a webhook which means whenever a form is submitted then you have to send a webhook and after send webhook you have to select post in this panel. So select post and then enter the webhook URL right here and you will get the webhook from here in your Pabli Connect workflow. You've copied it and then paste it right here. Once you've pasted it you have to just click on save and your workflow has been created in your HubSpot account. So now what you will do is that once this is done, you see it, uh, Pabli Connect has started to wait for a webhook response. Now for review and publish, you will go and select no, only enroll contacts who meet the trigger criteria, which means that all existing contacts do not have to be sent to Pabli Connect, but the ones that meet the trigger criteria, only they are supposed to be sent. So when this is done, click on turn on and the workflow is on. Now what you're supposed to do is you have to fill this form and see that the submission will reach right here as a response. So let us fill the details. This is my email address. The first name is this. The second name is the phone number is this is my phone number. And then the issue is this is my issue. Click on submit and then the form has been submitted. When I go to Pabli Connect, I'll see that I will be receiving a response in just a little more time. 
Okay, so now you have the information that you have received as the response over here. You can see the form name is also given over here, which is complaint form. Okay, and then further you will find all the details. This was the number. And you scroll down, there are multiple details that have been retrieved by Pabli Connect. And then somewhere down here, you will be having your, see, no electricity. This is the one. This is, this was the problem. This was our email address and then that's how we will be having our name and phone number as well which means that all the information has been retrieved by Pabli Connect using this webhook URL. So we will close this window and then we will further choose our action application as Gmail because we have to send a confirmation email to this person who filled our form. So let us select the action event as send email and connect our applications. For this you have to click on add new connection and because you're connecting Gmail to Pabli Connect you have to log in through your Google account. Click on allow by giving access to Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can command Gmail to send a mail on whichever email address you're going to enter over here. So here you have to fill in further details which are generally required to send a mail. Okay, so once you do this or once you create this workflow, you don't have to create this confirmation email every now and then. So in these empty fields, you're going to fill in details that you will be mapping from the previous step. That is whenever you whenever you click on any empty field in your action window, then you will find that this menu will come. It will first of all ask you to insert data from the previous step. This process is called mapping and they give you this drop down menu which includes all the details that were received as a response in your previous step that is your trigger application. So either you can scroll down from this really long list or you can just type in this search and map data. So like email address has at the rate. So type at the rate and this was our email address. So this is the email address where the email has to be sent. Okay. Now the sender name, the sender name was HubSpot. So you can just type over here. It's HubSpot. Okay. What was the email subject? So everything you can find over here, the email subject was complaint form and select complaint from from here. Okay, so the sender name is HubSpot because HubSpot is the receiver of the form and therefore HubSpot will send the confirmation message as well. Now comes the email content which is not HTML but it's plain and we have to now compose an email over here. So what are you going to do is that dear and then enter the name. So what is the name of the person? The name was John. So first name John space and then we have Lego. Yeah, the second name. Put a comma and then slash n. What is slash n for? Slash n is a substitute for your enter key on your keyboard, which means whatever you're going to write after slash n will come under dear. Okay, in the very next line. So you can write, we have we have successfully received your complaint. One of us will get back to you soon. This is done. You have made the email content and now no file or attachment is required. We will just click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application. And in no time, the response is right here. It says sent and done value is one, which means that our workflow has been executed successfully. Click on save. And now we need to check that have we received the confirmation email or not. So here you can see HubSpot has sent the message. If you open it, you can see dear John Lego, we have successfully received your complaint and the whole message and then regards, which means that we have received a confirmation email like this with the help of the workflow we just created. So let us do a quick recap. We created a form using HubSpot, which was our trigger application. We used all these instructions to connect webhook URL and also to create this workflow inside the HubSpot CRM application. Further, we received this response, which was used to fill in the details of the Gmail. And then we sent the mail using the email address that we received in the form submission. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.